back with a new lesson. In today's lesson, I'm going to tell you how to use the word thing in different ways. Well, the word thing actually means an object, right? But here we're going to learn how it is used differently uh, that doesn't mean or when we do not mean to express it as an object, okay? For example, in our day-to-day -day lives, we do make statements like pass me that thing or don't tell this thing to anyone and oh well, one more thing. So we do use it commonly, we use it almost with everything, okay? So let's start and learn how to use thing in different ways, okay? The first one, things are looking up. Now when do we use this? Probably you have shared something that has been very unpleasant at work or at uh, off, at work or at home with your friends. So now they want to know how's the situation at your end. So they ask, hey, what's the scene like in office? So you say, okay, things are looking up. So when I say things are looking up, it means things are improving. The situation is getting better. I'm not going to say the office is looking up or the office situation is looking up. I'm going to say things are looking up. That means I'm finally beginning to feel satisfied. Things are improving and for the better. All right. So we say things are looking up. That means it is improving for the better. Okay, the next one, there's one more thing. Now probably your mother gives you this whole list of instructions and she's missed out something. So to add on, she says, listen, there's one more thing. So when you make an addition to something that you say, you say there's one more thing. Please remember, it does not mean there's one more object. It's just that there is one more thing. Probably one more instruction there for you. Okay, the next one, do the right thing. Sometimes we are confused when we make decisions. We really don't know uh, what choice to make. Okay, it's like the heart versus the mind. So when you ask a friend, probably she tell you do the right thing. That means you're supposed to decide and do what is right. All right, the next one, sure thing. Now probably a friend invites you over for dinner and it's a very affirmative saying, a affirmative way of saying or confirming that you'll be there. So instead of saying, yeah, I'll be there, you say sure thing. All right, now it also means that something is certain. Probably you're at your favorite cafeteria and your friend asks you, hey, the chocolate shake for you and you're like, yeah, that's a sure thing. So it's certain, obviously you like it. Okay, so something is certain. The next thing, the real thing. Now probably you're in an argument and uh, there are too many facts being disputed, too many statements being disputed. But when you want to bring out a factual information, you say, listen, the real thing is that you're always late, okay? So that is something that cannot be disputed. It's a fact. So you say the real thing is that you're always late. All right, the next one is sort of thing. Now sort of thing, actually we use it when we say you're not into something or you are into something. For example, if your friend asks you, how do you parasail? I mean, I don't know. So I'll say, listen, I'm not into that sort of thing. All right, so I do, do not get involved in such activities or you have no clue about it. So I'll say I'm into or I'm not into. So I'm not into that sort of thing okay okay friends now we take a look at some more uses of thing okay the next one the nicest thing now this is mainly by and large used by the females uh, probably 
you know uh, your boyfriend has gifted you something really expensive really special so you say hey this is the nicest thing that uh, anyone has ever gifted me or probably you've paid her a very nice compliment so she says it's the nicest thing anyone has ever told me so the best all right so the nicest thing the next one the next big thing now we use this uh, probably in science technology or uh, probably to say that something new is going to come and uh, you know have a breakthrough so uh, if uh, like uh, probably this the smartphones are the the next big thing of course now they're like really used commonly or a new technology is going to be the next big thing or probably you have a new star that has joined hollywood and he's performed well won n number of awards so you say hey he's going to be the next big thing so a breakthrough or something that's really going to come up all right the next one in the thick of things now this means that you are really busy in something so probably when your friend calls you at work and you really cannot respond you say listen i'll give you a call later i'm in the thick of things that means i'm really busy i cannot speak to you right now okay friends the next one the first thing in the morning now please remember this does not actually mean the first thing in the morning like if i um, you know try to pacify my customer who's yelling and screaming because my technician has not reached her place so i'm going to tell her ma'am the first thing in the morning i'm going to have my technician at your doorstep but that does not mean the first thing that means 6:30 in the morning without brushing your teeth and taking a shower it means very early or as soon as possible okay So this is just a way of saying something that's going to take place very soon or very early in the morning. You say the first thing in the morning. Please remember, it is not literally the first thing that we do in the morning. Okay, and the last one here is it's a thing of the past. Now this is something that uh, when you talk about something being outdated or it could be technology it could be a tradition that uh, was observed earlier and is no longer observed now outdated okay or probably something that really happened long ago so if you've had a bad ugly tiff with your friend in the past you say oh it's a thing of the past all right or pagers that were known as uh, you know the phones that beeped so pagers were a thing of the past they are no longer used okay friends i hope you've understood the different meaning of or uh, different ways of using the word thing and well this brings me to the end of the lesson i hope you enjoyed watching this lesson If there is something that you have not understood please do put in your comments and queries I'll be back soon with a new lesson till then take care and bye